Hey, what's up, what's up? How's it going? Here I am again, this time with one more Sony 3-head cassette deck with closed loop dual capstan and 3-motor transport mechanism. The model number is TCK670 and uh, as you can see it has a little bit of scratch here but otherwise it looks solid on the side a little bit of you see dent I don't know kind of looks okay to me nothing special but yeah a couple of dents on the cover kind of good looking front panel let's power it on and yeah we have motorized open close uh, mechanism dual capstan three head as usual timer of course for headphones we got a phone level knob <laughs> used to be a here on some models now they move it there i think it's better oh yeah uh we got a counter reset memory of course i think it has automatic uh yeah automatic music search but this tape is mixed so we're not going to be able to demonstrate that um it's working just fine fast forward rewind playback recording there is a nice green light in the mechanism so you can see tape large nice big buttons stop play pause record mute recording display mode you can turn it off you can leave only time and totally turn it off monitor button of course mpx filter we know about that when you're recording from your radio you can kill some noise with that filter big recording level knob with a balance knob and what what is really interesting of course besides dolby b and c and input level because you can choose line or cd direct there are two line inputs on this model but this is like a, the interesting part calibration bias and recording level so it is a calibration but you have to find your level and bias with your ears <laughs> let me see do i have some tape i think i got something that we can try to record something and demonstrate how that goes it's an old tape of course i'm only using old tapes for demonstration and let's see monitor we got input on line we got input on cd and as you can see cd is a little bit higher level one thing that you have to notice with a cd input the balance knob is not working with your when you are recording from uh, CD input. It just goes straight to the, you know, like a deck. So yeah, <laughs> let's try to record something with uh, I don't know Dolby C tape source. As you can see, there is difference. Maybe we should turn the record level a little bit and bias on the left side. Oh, wrong button. A little bit less of the signal. I think we, we are getting there, maybe not so much level. This would be good. Source tape. Let's choose another track. This one is another one maybe I should record from the other source uh -huh, this is good perfect yes yes that's good that's good that's good Let's try electronic music. Uh, line input. This is a little bit lower level. Okay, we're gonna pump it up and try electronic music. 
Let's record electronic music. Oh, okay. Take. Okay, we're gonna bring the level a little bit up. This tape is old. I'm not familiar with it. Is it good enough? But it's still recording nicely. Yeah. A little bit more highs on source. I'm gonna put bias a little bit on the left. Uh huh. Source is high. Okay, let's do it like this. I'm not gonna go too much. Yeah, yeah, this is it. I like it like this. And here you can, of course, adjust your balance because you're using a line input. So we can even it up like this. Even if, you, if it's different on source, you know what I mean? If I, I, don't, I don't look how it looks on the source. I like it even on the tape. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's a thing. You have to use your ears to calibrate. You got bias, you got recording level which could be also something that you can adjust here, but you have to use it here. Uh, you know what I mean. You have to use those two knobs to try to make the source and tape look... The, there are no difference between source and tape. <laughs> it's tough. That's why they put the computer inside with a, you know, calibration level, so you, you don't have to use your ears. And it's tough because if you're using old tapes and stuff like that, not good tapes, you can only hear it when you try it. Uh, of course, with the calibration, it will show you, like in my previous video, if you have a bad tape. <laughs> because my stupid Google Pixel 5a phone is getting hot. I mean, it's hotter today, I know. I'll try to finish this video with my other older phone, LG g7 and maybe it's a good thing so i can compare how it looks with a lg g7 i see the image is maybe a little bit darker but who knows maybe i can you know do something different huh you see <laughs> no all i wanted to say like it's a good looking deck three head deck if you put it in hi-fi rack or somewhere you're not gonna see too much scratches but it's a good performance, the sound is good, it will nicely play tapes recorded like on other decks and also original tapes, which is good. I mean, there are not too much here, but it has ev everything you need and um, all you have to do is watch not to go over the red line, as I would say here. Like, uh, just record the level, do not go with red line, unless you have metal tapes, you know. Some people use metal tapes. Those tapes, they can handle a lot of, you know, power, a lot of juice. <laughs> but yeah, I like it. It's a kind of simple deck. It has also, I'm telling you, phone level knobs, so you can listen with your headphones, you don't need an amplifier, Dolby BC, line input and CD direct, calibration for bias and recording levels, balance, it's all there. So I think it's a nice, good looking Sony 3-head Casadec. Alright, take care, see you next time.